secret revealed, Meghan forced to never step at Kensington as she didn't follow Camilla's direction. Meghan Markle didn't listen to advice from Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, on how to survive royal life, according to reports. Meghan and Harry's Oprah interview has been nominated for an Emmy in a decision that has been dubbed a kick in the teeth for creators across the world. Meghan and Harry stunned audiences around the world and shook the palace to its core when they agreed to a sit-down, tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March. The couple had been lying relatively low since their dramatic departure from the firm last year, but having completely cut all ties with the royal family, and confirmed they had no intention of returning, they went against palace tradition and spoke candidly about their royal experience. The explosive chat saw the pair unleashed a string of explosive claims against the royal family, including that the Duchess had faced racism and was not supported when she struggled with her mental health. The palace said it took the claims very seriously and vowed to investigate privately. Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special was watched by at least 60 million people worldwide and prompted a wave of Republican sentiment across the Commonwealth and the UK. The bombshell interview has now been nominated for an Emmy in the category of Primetime Creative Arts Emmy Award for Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special. It came after Meghan and Harry had already announced their decision to step down as working members of the royal family in January 2020. At the time, the couple said the decision was taken so they could work to become financially independent after they publicly detailed their struggles under the spotlight during a night TV documentary. Meghan also claimed that her in-laws offered her little support, but a friend of the Duchess reportedly said they did try to help her. A source told Mail Online last year, Meg was really grateful to Camilla who was very supportive and invited her out for private lunches particularly around the time of her marriage. In November 2019, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry joined Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall for their first official engagement as a trio, just a few weeks before Meghan and Harry went on sabbatical to plan their royal exit. At the time, Vanity Fair reported that Camilla was also showing support to the couple behind the scenes. She doesn't want to see anyone struggling, and she is fond of Meghan, a source said. She listened to her and understood that it's really difficult joining the royal family from an otherwise normal life. Camilla is said to have advised Meghan to focus on the positives of her new role and to ride out the storm if there was negative coverage. During a private lunch with her daughter-in-law, Camilla is said to have offered advice on how to deal with the pressure. The source added, much like Meghan. Camilla had experienced a lot of negative press and hostility from courtiers due to her relationship with Charles when he was still married to Diana. She was very sensitive to Meghan and provided her with support, advising her to ride out the storm and that it would all pass, but ultimately Meghan didn't listen. The Mail Online reported that Prince Charles gave the same advice to Harry. In Camilla's case, it ultimately took more than a decade for her image to be rehabilitated after her relationship with Charles became an issue in his divorce from Princess Diana. By the time she and Charles were married in 2005, 13 years after his divorce and 8 years after Diana's death, Camilla was embraced by the British public, the press, and palace courtiers. As time has gone on, she has become one of the busiest senior royals with close relationships to the media. During the UK lockdown she continued to carry out her work through social media. Today she received a number of warm tributes from her family. Kate Middleton and Prince William honoured her special day by sharing a smiling shot of the royal, adding, wishing the Duchess of Cornwall a very happy birthday today. A similar shot was also shared with the same message on Queen Elizabeth's social media account.